All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you the fastest image stabilization method in DaVinci Resolve. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so as you can see in my timeline, I've already put in a video of a motorcycle. As you can see, it's quite choppy from the rider's point of view, which I can definitely attest to. I'll show you the quickest way to actually stabilize this and to make it look smoother. And just so we can have a before and after shot, I'm going to throw in another clip right here. And let's get working on this. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure the video that we want to stabilize is highlighted. And you can see that this one is because it has a red border around it. And then in the top right, we can open up our inspector tab. From there, just scroll down until you see stabilization and double click to open it up. And in this case, we're going to use the perspective mode because as we can see, it's clearly a point of view style video. So perspective is going to work perfectly fine for this. The cropping ratio, you don't need to worry too much about. Let Resolve handle it. If you get it wrong, adjust it. But basically this is going to be how much of the image on the top sides and bottom get cut off when you do the stabilization because the way it works is it's going to pick a point and make sure that point stays as close to the same spot as it can throughout the duration of the video. And by doing that, anything that's shaking around might go off screen or things might end up showing what's behind it. So it has to crop in a little bit just so it can not show empty screen basically, if that makes sense. Uh, the smoothing we can leave at the default. I've never found a reason to do anything other than that and the strength i'm going to leave at the full 100 percent amount but you can turn it down if you want and you can actually make it choppier if you wanted to do that for some reason i really don't understand why you would but the option is there so all we have to do is click stabilize it's going to take a few seconds and you can see there it cropped in and now if we play this back We can see the video is very smooth in comparison to what it was before. And just to remind you, I'm going to go back and we can see just how choppy that is. And if this video was helpful at all, please let me know in the comments below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to create content that you want to see. So let me know what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye now.